Canada, Whistler here on vacation, but I couldn't miss the Trader Office Hours with you. And uh, yeah, I'm stoked to be making this happening. So should we dive in and get started? I know we have about 400 people on the live right now. We got some questions for you, Manila. We're going to put you on the hot seat. And uh, I thought then we'd invite some of your fans and some audience members to ask some questions as well. Of course, for sure. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So I'm going to pin the link to the course that um, you did with Nas Academy. Shout out to Nas Academy for, you know, putting together um, the course uh, of how to be a drag queen, the history of drag, really getting to know your background, a lot of lessons and skills that you've learned in your career. So I'm going to pin that here in a second. But as I do, Manila, I thought I'd ask you, um, can you give us a 30 second or 45 second crash course of what is drag and how did you get on reality TV on RuPaul's show? I think you did three seasons, if I recall, two all stars and one regular season. And so for folks who may not know, we're getting a lot of new people in this office hours. Give us a little, brief little background of that. Oh, well, drag is, um, it's truly a performative and artistic, um, visually artistic art form. Um, it's a really creative way of self-expression and how you choose to play dress up. And uh, drag to me has always been that, this exploration of creating new characters within myself through the way that I dress. I, I find it very similar to theater, but without having to rely on auditioning or sleeping with the director to get the part. You just make it up for yourself. <laughs> so you're basically in control um, through drag um, about how you want to present yourself. And it is um, an amazing art form that uh, a lot of people, including myself, are, are really drawn to, to, to watch, to view. And um, so when you, when you do drag, you um, you get a, an audience that is all of a sudden very interested, a lot more interested in what you're up to. So um, that's what I'm doing. And, and I've always wanted to be a drag queen. Um, I didn't know really exactly what it was when I was growing up, um, but that was several years ago, like two. Um, and uh, so um, nowadays a lot more people are familiar with with what drag is, um, um, and so uh, a lot of people are turning are turning to it um, as a form of entertainment. And so I, when I first, when I was younger, I had first like started to explore dressing up and being in drag, and um, then I auditioned for a TV show, and then uh, several years later, uh, as the TV show get more and more successful over each season. Um, it really helped launch the careers of many drag queens and really help people get uh, interested in the art form of drag. Wow, wow, that is absolutely incredible, Manila. We're, we are all so inspired by you. Um, and uh, just to give some quick content, I'm coming to you all live from the Nas Academy account. I am Nicole Bannister. I am one of the trainers on your course, Manila. So I am super excited to be here representing Nas Academy and to be helping to kickstart and launch this fantastic course that you have coming up here. Um, and so, you know, I think one of the questions that I have for you is, you know, you, you toggle so many different identities, right? You're, you're American, you're Filipino, you have all these different identities and, and, and ways that you sort of um, relate to. So are you finding that there are differences in sort of American drag culture and Filipino drag culture since you have this sort of incredible launch of your, of your show, uh, your, your, your new drag show series coming out in the Philippines? What, what's that like? Um, well, I feel like um, there is definitely like universal um, qualities about drag that goes from like beyond like, you know, like the drag you find out in Asia, uh, specifically in the Philippines, the drag you find here in the States, which I, I guess because of the success and popularity of shows like RuPaul's Drag Race, is becoming more and more influential in how we uh, consume and do our drag. Um, but yeah, there's it, it ultimately really what it, it, it comes down to is that we, I like to focus on the similarities and, and really what that mm. is, is um, finding like ways of uh, expressing yourself with how you dress and, and, letting, mm. and letting how you dress 
help uh, determine how you act and how you feel, um, which, is, which is really cool. Uh, you know, there's like not very many like creatures here on planet Earth that get dressed up, that will literally like take things that aren't, that don't come from their body and like paint themselves and, and, and wrap themselves in fabric and, and shiny objects. Uh, except for us, and um, drag takes that to the extreme. It's not just about like putting uh, clothes on your back. It's about putting clothes on your back and your front, and and, a, and throwing a skirt on, and, and putting on high heels, and um, and feeling fabulous <laughs> in those ways, um, mm. and exploring what that means, um, exploring what um, like how gender is identified by. Sim these simple things you know what I mean like a lot of a lot of what we do um as people is we kind of we we dress ourselves up and we we create the, the our surroundings and drag is um is just that just a little bit more fabulous <laughs> yes queen yes <laughs> That's amazing, Manila. And I, I wanted to ask, like, beyond, like, the history of drag, what it is, you know, so many people have come through RuPaul's show. So many people have been on reality TV in general. But what I really admire about you is that you've taken that opportunity to build an audience, build businesses, now teach on Nas Academy. I mean, you started uh, Serve Vodka, Pineapple uh, Couture, if I'm recalling, like, some of the things that you've kicked off here. But how did you take <laughs> your audience and turn it into something that has now become a livelihood? Like, how did you become a creator that now lives on all of these platforms, not just the seasons of reality TV that I think a lot of people maybe have struggled with or may not realize how to turn into a longer career? Well, honestly, like, the fact is, is that I had never expected to turn this into a long time career. I have mm -hmm. always loved drag. And I always wanted to do it. And I wanted to do it before I knew that I could be successful at it. And so what I would do is I would, I would dress up um, on the weekends and I would go out to like a, a club, like maybe like once a month in drag. And I would spend the entire month like planning my outfit and how I wanted to look and the character that I was creating. And, and then it wasn't until I got into Drag Race where I realized that like, oh, this is going to be a career. I actually thought that after being on the reality show for one season that it was over and and I had accomplished what I wanted to do and um and then I would have to go back to my day job um fortunately for me the popularity of the show uh, allowed me to continue to travel and um the success that I found while being on the show and you know just being myself I, I found a lot of people were very interested in me and wanted to see more of me and after I was on the show I, I realized like oh I guess I, I'm still getting hired. I, I guess more people are, are, are still interested in what I did uh, a year ago on a TV show. So then I, I had to like, you know, continue to create, which, which allowed me to expand, um, expand me as an artist, expand me as a business person, expand me as a person who represents a, a, an underrepresented community of uh, communities. Um, and so yeah, I mean, I guess I just kind of uh, let the let the wind take me um, by my sails and, and take me into a direction and, and see where I ended up. And um, I, it wasn't a, a five year plan. It wasn't a, a, something that I had planned on. Um, fortunately, uh, because of the the path that um, that me and a lot of the earlier queens from the show like set forth. Uh, it cleared a way for for more people to follow and find find their own paths and 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 pick and choose and get to do a lot of that kind of stuff. But yeah, I mean, the thing about it is that like I'm a drag queen. I, I I'm used to getting in a little dress, sparkly little dress with some sparkly little earrings, and going to a nightclub um, and performing on a stage, lip syncing to to other people's music. And then one day I was like, well, maybe what if I sing my own music? And then what if I make my own music video? And what if I sell a t-shirt that like kind of, you know, goes with the, the thing? And oh, what if, what if uh, I make a, a, a collector's L, LP vinyl record? And maybe what if I make a doll? Um, and uh, just seeing other ways that my drag expands beyond just me as a person. That's so, amazing. I mean, that's kind of, yeah. 
That's amazing. I want to give a few shout outs to, you know, you have so many fans here. Finn Fidelity says, uh, gorgeous hair, Manila. I second Ooh, that. I, I thought I had the best hair on this live, but you know, I won't take any offense, you know. You actually have the uh, worst hair on this live. No offense. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Manila. I, was, I wasn't going to say it, but thank you. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Maybe you're right, maybe you right. want to invite be... some um some people that are watching with with bad Absolutely. hair days, and then you can oh, no, the, no. you can the yeah I'll step on my self esteem, but yes, no, well, yeah. No, I, I'm just joking. <laughs> this is this is I know this looks like it's my hair, but it's actually a wig. My my hair underneath here is all matted down, and it looks <laughs> much worse than yours. I, I promise you. So <laughs> under this hat. I will... I actually have the worst hair in this in this live chat. So no, no, sorry. no. no. I will offense. take third. I will take third place on this one gladly, gladly, okay, gladly. Okay. gladly. I'll, I'll take slight the bronze read, trophy. Slight read, slight <laughs> read. Yes, yes, yeah. No, no, no harm here. No harm. Tobias says, "Love you, Manila." Uh, and I want to give, give a shout out. Like, um, uh, we're gonna take a few questions from the audience in about five minutes. Nicole and I have a few more questions for you, Manila, and I think we'll open it up. I'm already seeing some great questions come through in the chat, and I think that's the beauty of Creator Office Hours. We'll bring you as the fourth person on screen here on Instagram Live ask questions um, about Manila's course, ask her about her career. Um, we'll have some fun with it. But I wanted to ask one more question for you, Manila, which is, you know, as part of your course, part of your career, you talk about this idea of finding your X factor. And, you know, I think that you've come into your own in such a beautiful way. And I'm wondering what advice do you have for other people who don't know what their X factor is? Maybe they want to become a career. Maybe they want to turn on, you know, um, their camera on their smartphone. Maybe they'll want to go live for the first time. How do you start to find that thing that differentiates you from other people? And once you find it, how do you double down and refine it? Ooh, um, well, we might have to take a course to get all the information on that. But, um, <laughs> you know, that, that that the part of you that's original to just you is in everyone you know what i mean and um yeah. it's really about finding that um no matter how small or insignificant you might think it is and really like uh, letting that that part of you like crack it open and then just you know nurturing that and taking care of it and, and expanding it and, and and treating it i never uh, my my goal was never to become a, a famous drag queen and, and have a NAS Academy course. You know what I mean? I just wanted to play dress up because I wanted to feel pretty. And then I mm. found that actually I'm pretty good at making myself feel pretty. And so then because I was like, oh, I have, I have a pretty little, I have a pretty mug. I got pretty hair. I got a pretty little dress. Well, let me just um, sing a pretty little song uh, or let me, let me, whatever. Um, and, and then also keeping in mind, like, for, for me, it was like, okay, there's always going to be someone that's prettier than me. I, I mean, only a few, only a few. <laughs> but there's always going to be someone prettier than me, so I, <laughs> I can't take that too seriously. You know what I mean? Yep. So, no, so keeping that balance between, like, fantasy and reality and, and, and kind of, like, following that, that thin line and finding your way, um, I was able to take the, thing, the, parts, the parts of me that um, I, was, I, I loved and I found unique to myself and, and, and presenting it to the world and seeing if they liked it. And then when they mm -hmm. did like it, give them more, expand on that, those ideas. Um, and I, I feel like everyone has an X factor. And I, I know we all think of it like in terms of like, you know, oh, like you're a pop idol or you're from the, from, from a, the reality show X factor. Um, but like, it's more than just like, you know your your power to sing or your stage presence or your sense of humor it's the thing that makes you unique it's the, it's your x factor and how big that x is up to you mm. and that would be uh, that would be 25 dollars for that free lesson thank you <laughs> <laughs> right right i'm like actually i think it'll be like 149 dollars for that lesson if we're being specific <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but actually, we're running a we're running a we're running a sale right now. So the people that are signing up for my course um, will actually get a little bit of a discount. To we, we're opening the course, um, and we, we're we're up, we have some financial aid. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that, Vanilla. And I think that's a good time for me to share. You know, for everyone who's watching on this IG live right now, you can head over to nodsacademy.com and sign up for this phenomenal course. 
with Manila Luzon. I mean, it's a, Manila, it's an incredible course that you have created. It is, you know, a seven day intensive course, starting off, you know, with, a, with an orientation, a live orientation with a trainer like myself and a group of your peers who are gonna be coming on and interacting live together. And then every single day throughout those seven days, yeah. there are, you know, pre-recorded videos that you have. You know, we're learning from you, learning from your lessons, your strategies, how to be fabulous, how to style yourself, how to, you know, have an attitude and a personality that really represents who you are. You know, it's really powerful content. Um, and, you know, so, so students will watch those videos and have an exercise and activity at the end of each of those seven days and then meet all together live again with their peers uh, for a graduation ceremony. And then we actually get the chance to meet you live as well. Isn't that correct? <laughs> I'm really excited about that. That's the, I think that's one of the really the greatest things and what excited me and brought me and made me very interested in, in working with NAS Academy to create this because I know that like uh, the resources are all out there. Like you can go on uh, onto YouTube and find a makeup tutorial for free. But like what, what our Academy is doing is it's bringing people together. It, it's creating a, an actual class. Like you help, you will have classmates. This, you will you will be building a community, and, and it's around the world. So you, um, it, it and it, it it holds you more accountable because like if you're going to be the person that's paying for this class and you're not doing the homework, then you can't participate with your classmates who are doing this. And 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 really, that's really I think what's re the coolest part about uh, NAS Academy and Manila's school of drag. Um, so I'm really excited to to see all the people that are interested in creating this community. And the thing about it is it's not just for people who want to do drag. It's for people who are interested in drag. You know, like I don't really wanna, I don't wanna be like a movie director or, or necessarily, but I, I love watching the behind the scenes for my favorite movies. I love to listen to the director's commentary. So this is also a great way for anyone who's interested in drag to follow along and and gain a little bit more insight on like what goes into it um, and to also be part of a community. And so you can, if you love drag, you can also like be part of the, the beginnings and awakenings of the future drag superstars of the world. A hundred percent, Manila, you are spot on. And I mean, it's that community factor that really brings this course and makes it exactly what it is. But you you also have some other fun things in the course. You know, the community part is, is lovely. We're so excited to bring everybody together. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, you actually have a little beginner's guide to tucking as part of this course as well, which that is something that I think is <laughs> pretty spectacular and perhaps unprecedented. <laughs> You know, it's funny because like I take it for granted because I, you know, don't have to because I have a, a woman's vagina. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a question that a lot of people were asking. And so I'm like, you know what, I guess we're going to have to address this the same way I address applying lashes. So, um, yeah, we, we go through that. And, um, mm. you know, I mean, <laughs> classy, classy, yet very... Um, tantalizing I would say mm -hmm. yeah yeah for <laughs> sure I, I think that the people will, will be very very interested in, in in figuring out like the best way for them to talk mm -hmm. and so, um, some of the people don't have to so they can just you know they can just enjoy the visuals <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> Well, you are giving us all the visuals and all the looks right now. So we can only imagine the visuals in the course itself. So John has gone ahead and pinned, uh, you know, the, the, the links so that you can go sign up for the course right now, now, now. So uh, if you haven't done that yes. yet, you have to do that. Yeah, right yeah I remember we're, <laughs> we're, we're running a special um, offer right now for our first course. Um, this isn't, this isn't like... Uh, this is something that's really special you know what i mean like we, you have to set aside some time for this and mm -hmm. um like this is something that you get to you get to be excited about and look forward to doing and uh, i think that like especially these days um when people are just so used to like just like pulling something up on their phone and like you know like being in like bed like watching like, mm. no this is something that we, like you really have to like we, i want everyone to like you know, get prepared for. I want you to brush your hair. I want you to put some mascara on before you attend your courses. Uh, and this is mm. what is exciting about this. Um, so it is like going to school, but from, you know, from the comfort of wherever you are. 
Yeah, it's so amazing. Go check I, it out. I, Check right out there. the link below. I had a chance to take a Nas Academy course and the hands-on like nature of it, just amazing interactivity. And I still keep in touch with a lot of the folks that, you know, I took my uh, course with. So I'm sure Manel, you're going to take it to another level. And if people haven't already checked out, maybe this is the first time you're joining Instagram live, hit that button at the top that has the down arrow. You could check out Manila's profile, you could check out Nas Academy's profile, give them a follow. And there's more information coming on the, the course and just a fun stuff to keep in touch with in addition to the link down below. But if you guys are open to it, Nicole, Manila, I thought we'd bring up some uh, people from the audience. So you could hit the plus button. And uh, I see some questions coming in. So we will bring up a few uh, fans to ask questions. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Live always goes one way or another. So we'll make sure to keep it positive, <laughs> keep, keep it a good vibe. Um, but uh, I see some good questions coming in. So here we go. Um, I'm going to bring mm. up our first um, person, which is... Uh, Jana, let's see. Jana, welcome to Creator Office Hours. Let me know if that went through. And if not, I will go to Alejandro uh, next. But uh, Jana, I just invited you up to our live to ask a question to Manila. Let's see if that goes through. Exciting. Oh, someone's tardy, tardy to class. <laughs> yes. <laughs> not Jana, a good we way to start you. the skewel of drag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If not, we have a few others in line. Andrea, I see you and I'm inviting you up. Andrea was actually in um, the audience and came on stage during my interview with new Sire. Andrea, oh. how you doing? Oh, hi. Oh. Hi. Good Hello. To see you again. Where are you Hello, from? How are you doing? I'm hi, fantastic. So, um, where, are you, where, where are you live I'm from? from uh, I'm from Metro Manila, Philippines. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh Mabuhay. Mabuhay. It's already in the middle of the morning, but I was waiting for this live because I have a question. Like, I really wanted to ask this question. So, I have some friends. They're so afraid to uh, open up to the world. Some of them are gay, some of them are lesbians, and they're so afraid to, like, open up to the public. Like, they're afraid to wear something very, um, like, colorful clothes or maybe wear makeup in public. And they're so afraid to get... A discrimination so what is your message to those people who were afraid to open up okay well i know it, it takes a lot of guts to step out into the world um expressing yourself the way you want to express yourself um i know that like when i first started like putting on makeup and, and wearing dresses it was just like in my house in front of my full-length mirror and i would dance around to my favorite um Broadway musicals <laughs> but um then I I found the right spaces like um, the nightclubs like the gay nightclubs when I finally well it was I was still underage but they had like um it was like 18 plus so I could go I just couldn't drink um they put a big x on my hand to so I couldn't buy any drinks um but I would go to these places, these safe places where I could feel like I could uh, express myself freely. And that helped me gain my confidence to be able to do what I wanted to do in public. Now, fast forward several years later, when I wanted to go to these clubs, but I was living in New York City and I didn't have much money. So I had to take the subway from the Bronx all the way down to the Lower East Side. And I didn't have a choice but to confront my fears and keep on my, my fabulous drag on, which wasn't as fabulous as it is today. But it's, so I was a little clockable, a little bit crunchy, but I, <sighs> I, I got prepared. I had, I had my hammer in my purse in case someone wanted to try it with me. And um, I just, you know, try, I did it. I heard some cat calls here. People were, were whispering under their breath. But like, ultimately, like, I was comfortable in my skin at that point and brave enough to go out into the world so that I could do what I wanted to do that I, I just, I had to like, just kind of let it like roll off my back. Um, I, uh, I know people are around the world and there are places that aren't as open to this. I mean, I was in New York city, like running in a subway in New York city, like you, you kind of see everything. So, uh, so some cross dresser is probably not new to a lot of people, but still like I, a lot of people live in fear. And I think that's, um, what drives a lot of people is, is, is their own fear. So but just as long as you protect yourself. Um, also, I've noticed that if you look so damn good, even the haters can't hate. <laughs> I can't even tell you how many like 
bumpkin town places I've been in where I had to make that walk from the ele the elevator in the hotel lobby through the lobby past everyone that's checking in and all the looks, but I look so good that people are just like, wow, oh, I got a free show. So, I mean, I encourage you to like, you know, I, I encourage you to, to be encouraging of your friends as well. So um, I, I had my sister and my friend with me when I first started doing drag and that, that support system and the, that group, the, the um, power in numbers really helped as well. So um, hopefully they will, hopefully they will become more um, open to the idea of, of expressing themselves to the whole world. Oh, and then you hold that. Hold on, hold on. One, one last thing. Also, <laughs> not everyone is deserving of knowing everything about you. So if you can keep a little bit of stuff to yourself or personal or private. I hope uh, that helps. Thank you, so thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And also, I love your makeup. <laughs> oh, thank you. I definitely need to take your course because I, I, I can do makeup, but I'm not good in makeup. And drag queens are the best ones with makeups, so I need I definitely made, needed this course. <laughs> Even though I'm busy, I needed it. I need to glow up myself. Well, if you don't make it for the first class, we'll have a second class, a third class, and a fourth class, and on and on and on. Yeah. So don't worry about it. Thank you, Madame Manila. I am so happy. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Thanks for joining, Andrea. I'll move you back to the audience, um, and then I'll bring up our next uh, person or I think you can move back down and I will bring up the next person who is Tal. I've seen you in the comments. There we go. Thank you, Andrea. That was a wonderful question. Wonderful answer. Tal, we're coming to you next. Manila, it's so cool to see your fans from all over the world just joining, mm -hmm. asking questions in the audience. Uh, and here we go. Next person. Tal, how you doing? Oh my God. Hi. Hello. Oh, Manila, Hi, I love you so much. Hi. Oh, thank you so much. So where, where are you? Where are you live? Instagram living from? I'm uh, somewhere next to Tel Aviv city. Oh, um, Israel! Yeah. I thought I heard an accent. You sound just like a <laughs> dot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad to be compared to her. <laughs> thank you. Me too. <laughs> Girl, you're much hotter. <laughs> No, that's true. I, I'm like sweating right now. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so I'll try to speak through my heartbeat because I'm super excited. I love you so much. Um, so you're one of those queens who can be shady, you know, but just the right amount of shady when it's so funny and fun and light. How do you do it? How do you not make it into an insult? Um, I think with shade, it's really about humor and not taking yourself too seriously and taking the wind out of your sails. And um, I think that's what makes a, a good read. Um, there's, there's so much anger and hate and fear in the world. Um, so sometimes what, how you deal with it is, uh, is through humor. Um, so <laughs> it's a really good way to diffuse um, the energy if, it, if it's kind of like in a, a pointed way or in a, a condescending way, um, is to, to diffuse it with, with humor and lightheartedness, um, but also still like giving that, um, delivering that message um, but also, you know, making it not too serious. So, um, I think that's, I think that's how I do it. Um, and I know it's, it's difficult because a lot of people are, are very, they're walking on um, pin, pins and needles, walking around eggshells, trying not to offend anyone, um, which I appreciate. Um, but sometimes, you, sometimes you can be a little offensive, but if you, um, uh, if you make it a a good experience and you deliver it well, I think a lot of people are, are a little bit more easier to accept the criticism and, um, and kind of go with it. Um, and, you know, if you can make fun of yourself, um, then uh, I feel like people are more comfortable with like, you know, playing along too. Like, oh, if you can make fun of yourself, then I can make fun of yourself. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. The question is: the question is, are you ready for it? Like you said, um, if you're afraid of hurting someone and just can't let it go, I think this is the beautiful part about drag. Uh, when when you are in drag, it's like you become this sort of persona where all of your like your insight comes out, and I think it amplifies everything in you and i think this is what's so magical about drag and uh, you do it perfectly well thank you so much it is it's really it's really crazy the power of of dressing up and um different outfits and i'll explain this in the nas academy course like the different outfits can evoke different feelings um and there's once you learn how to harness that and and, and recognize that it is a lot that you can do with it Including being shady boots. Not <laughs> me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Tao, toda raba. It's amazing to see the questions come in. Yeah, I, 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 my, my eight years of Hebrew are coming into handy in this live stream. Oh, so wow. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Shalom, Tal. Uh, if you want to move back, down, we'll do one one more question. I know Manila, you are so busy and being so generous with your time. We'll do one more question from the audience. Um, let's see. I'm gonna bring up. Let's see. One more here. Jana, I know we won't, tried to go to you earlier. Um, oh, and Tal, you have to move down from the audience. Oh. Um, oh. And I will. I'm move. such a millennial. Oh God. No, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> you're good. And All the rules Tal, from you're Nike Live. Down. How does it work? <laughs> how do you do it? <laughs> I actually don't know how it works. I just was like, oh, okay. I guess I'm, this is the button I press. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> is there a NAS Academy of how to do Instagram Lives? Because I need to take that course. <laughs> Hey, honestly, Doc can one. teach that course. We both have our own uh, IG live shows. We could probably do that. Shout out Nas Academy. Mm. I have to start that. Mm. <laughs> boom, boom. Hi. There we go. Hey. Seriously, you let in my husband? Like, what's he going to oh. ask me? I, Hi, I this is my husband, know. Michael. Hi, Manila. I just wanted to know, Manila, how do you stay so glamorous? <laughs> Oh, fuck off, husband. <laughs> Everyone, this is my husband. He's taking up some valuable time for a while. Oh, well, you requested. So I go and follow didn't. him so that you can send him thumbs downs. <laughs> <laughs> this is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally calling me from the other room. Why don't you just come yeah, over yeah. here and then you can join the party? Well, Girl. Well, I, wanted, I, wanted, I wanted your future classmates to see the type of art that you create for fun at home. This is a painting you made overnight one day. And that's the type of like creativity you have to offer in your course. So I saw mm. what you did and what you offered. And I'm so excited for your class to really learn the, the secrets of Manila. Oh, honey, oh. you're gonna get some tonight. I promise you, honey. <laughs> oh, yeah. If we get 100, if we get 100 uh, uh, people to sign up for my course in the next hour, my husband's gonna get some tonight. Oh, 100 yes. people. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love it. All right, well, Mikey, press that down arrow and let's send another question. So, oh, <laughs> love you. That was so special. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> special guest appearance. <laughs> okay, so Michael, really press that press that down button. There you go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. After that, we definitely need to host a how to do an IG live course for sure. <laughs> oh, so cute. So cute. Great choice, John. <laughs> hello, hello, Manila. Hello, everyone. Hi. What's your name? <laughs> My name is Zuri. Zuri, nice to meet you. Where are you Instagram living from? La La Land, Los Angeles. Ooh. Oh, you're my hi, neighbor. Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, well, not as not as uh, not as like um, like the last one. That's literally the call is coming from within the house. Um, <laughs> That's pretty cool. We do that sometimes. See another you know? Los Angelin. Yes, I don't want to be on here long, but I just wanted to see if you are going to be performing anywhere local soon. 
Ooh. Um, actually, well, you know what? Actually, tonight I will be um, hosting um, a viewing party of RuPaul's Drag Race season 14, the newest episode tonight at Mickey's in West Hollywood, oh. followed by a quick performance. So um, okay. I hope I see you there. I will try to make it. Thank you. You thank better. You. And but John, you are so like, cute. That, I just wanted to say, I oh, I thank you. To go to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you guys so much. I'm actually at work right now, but just wanted to oh, say, hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> thank you, Even John. <laughs> amazing, amazing. I, didn't I love do that it. as Being a last paid question. To be on live with me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Incredible, incredible. Boom. Um, Manila, Nicole, I'll let you have final word here, but this is just such a pleasure seeing fans and people from all around the world join these office hours, ask questions, get to know a bit about, more about you, your chorus, uh, the history of drag. Anything else uh, you want to conclude with? And then we could wrap things up. Oh, me? Um, well, I'm, I'm, really I'm really excited to be a part of this. Um, NAS Academy has made this experience really amazing for me as the professor, as the teacher. So I'm really excited for the experience that the class will be having as well. Um, I hope that uh, I mean, there's like so many people who are such great fans of drag. And I know that the, fan, the fandom of, of drag um, is worldwide. And I'm excited for the friends you'll make you, with your classmates, the communities that you're going to have. And I'm really, really excited to see all of you at um, our, when I finally do the live uh, meeting with everyone. Mm, mm. That's wonderful. And I just have to say, Manila, you know, on behalf of Nas Academy, congratulations on launching your course. We are truly so, so excited. And as one of the trainers who will actually be supporting on your course, I cannot wait to meet all of your students. I can't wait to meet and host you in the live session. Um, and so for all of the people tuning on to this, tuning into this IG Live, or if you're watching a rerun somewhere, make sure you go to nasacademy.com slash Manila Luzon and sign up for the school of drag ASAP. Yeah. So, yes, honey, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Nicole, you've been such a wonderful co-host. Manila, you've been just the best in answering these questions. And uh, everyone, check out the course. And uh, if you're tuning in, uh, we'll make sure to put the link in the description. But uh, thank you. And I see people are still raising their hands and all that. We'll try to get you in into the next office hours. But I want to be respectful of everyone's time. And uh, we'll see you next time. This is a joy. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye, John. Bye, Manila. Bye, guys. <laughs>